Hi, what's up? It's Jimmy here. Terima kasih and thank you very much for following me on this walkthrough for what drum I'm gonna use for my dub dub, little dub dub, kind of reggae dub kind of loops. Hey, what's up? So now I'm gonna run through with you what drum set atau apa drum set yang Jimmy uh, pilih untuk buat loop dub ni. So the idea here is uh, I want something which is punchy but I also want something that is kecil uh, and dia poppy sikit kind of texture you know kind of like a piccolo but not piccolo like soprano snare kind of sound so dia kecil tapi punchy so idea is maybe I try to experiment with drum set yang lebih smaller in size atau fusion punya kit so let's start with the drum set. Uh, drum set kita mula dengan kick drum. So kick drum Jimmy guna Force 2007 je. Uh, kick drum ni size 20 inci, 20 by 16, I think. So it's 20 by 16 with front head Jimmy buka. Kalau you buka front head, sound dia lebih dry. Okay, you you tak dapat so much punya sub frequency punya res, uh, resonant so it's just direct beater hentak the skin you get the duh, the duh punya bunyi so it's more direct open head and then skin belakang Jimmy pilih uh, control sound yang ada red black dot kat tengah so dia more focus dia punya punch dah lah kick drum kecil so itu kick drum dan preparation dia so it's small punchy and open and direct short attack and then mm, untuk snare drum Jimmy guna Sakai maple snare 12 kali 6 it's a 12 by 6 and uh, as usual I'm going for that that uh, popcorn snare kind of kind of tone and then itu untuk snare drum and 12 inci dia best sebab dia ada depth tu bunyi bunyi depth of the snare drum tapi when it comes to cross stick Mungkin I have a bit of trouble sebab rim dia tak cukup wide. So Jimmy pasang satu extension daripada Yamaha. It's a wedge. It's a Yamaha wood wedge designed by Russ Miller. And what happens is it just helps me extend my rim out. So I can get a nice sweet spot for my cross stick. And plus apa yang cool pasal wedge ni kan dia ada tambourine kat tepi. So I get a really nice metal kind of ping kat belakang. So this for the snare. For the first tom ni, first tom ni ni bukan tom ni snare drum another piccolo snare drum tapi besi dari tama uh, 10 kali 5.5 or 10 kali yeah 10 looks like 5 and a half. Looks like a 10 by 5 and a half or 6 stainless steel tama which I open the snare so I get a timbaletto timbale kind of sound. So that's it for that. And also floor tom. Floor tom, I decided to go for a smaller one. Walaupun dia kecil, floor tom kecil, 14 floor tom ni, Chris Dave ni, Chris Dave. Tak hip hop lah masa tu. So anyway, so, uh, eh aku tak hip hop. Tak rock ah. Anyway, uh, this is a 14 Mapex floor tom. Uh, sikit muffling ring kat tepi. Uh, but I tune it kind of low to get this Dia macam ada feedback sikit tapi dia vibrate But not too low sampai dia Bleh. Bleh. Macam mati dia Tung. Bunyi macam tu So this kind of is the tone You know, dead, flat And uh, very focused And yeah, that's for the drum set Let me move on to the cymbals Cymbals are very simple no right, no big symbol until here sampai kiri kanan. Simple. One crash, two splash, one hi-hat. All by Boss Forrest. Because Jimmy uses Boss Forrest. So on my left is a 15-inch syncopation, 15-inch hi-hat by Boss Forrest. This is a 6-inch... Yeah! It's an 8-inch. It's an 8-inch Doron Giat splash. And here's a 12-inch traditional splash. This is a 19-inch syncopation series sand wash crash. So just a little demo, which is a... Ah! All 
Alright, so do stay tuned for my next episode which is a run through pasal the miking and apa mic Jimmy guna untuk recording benda dub loop ni. So do stay tuned to Drumnet. See you later. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube and then follow our Facebook and Instagram. Okay, bye. Drumnet.